And you got it, Doug. Now, as you know, crews had trouble clearing our last snowstorm as salt supplies started running thin around the area. Uh, so we decided to go out and check on the salt and sand supplies out there today with authorities. And uh, we've been assured that the region will be ready for tomorrow morning. Stephen Cheetah picks up our Stormwatch team coverage. He's live in Purcellville tonight, uh, gauging the snow fatigue out there. Stephen, how's it look? What are you hearing out there? Well, Leon, we expect about three inches in Percival tomorrow, even more further west. But right now, it feels like spring, and the idea of more winter weather on the way has a, a lot of people here worn out. Life goes on as usual in Leesburg, even though another winter storm looms on the horizon. I'm a little tired of it. A layer of rime went down at Silver Spring today and across the region as well. While recently replenished mounds of salt are about to take another hit. Maintenance crews, which thought they finally finished with snow removal, are preparing to battle another blast. I was hoping to get my uh, equipment ready for uh, grass mowing. While plows wait to hit the roads, winter-weary people expressed frustration. As far as I'm concerned, like, winter should end on January 2nd. Not this year. As many as three inches are expected to the west of the metro area. Definitely in March, this late in the year, not a fan at all. Some people are crossing their fingers and hoping this is winter's last gasp. The flakes are expected to start falling right along with the much anticipated arrival of spring. Not looking forward to it, but I, I think it's going to melt right away. That's what my hope is, and that the sun's going to come out and spring will be here. Yeah, but tomorrow we do expect to see snow here on this area, on these grassy areas, and in the streets. Perhaps some snow, but the transportation officials with whom we spoke out here say they don't expect the pavement to be cold enough for there to be any major problems. And I do have to tell you, about two or three minutes ago, a woman came up to me and asked me if the snow meant that spring would start later than usual. That's not how it works. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.